It's your boy, ST Wise. Like, subscribe, and comment. ST Wise stands for Shine Together. Shout out to the whole DMV. Shout out to Maryland specifically. And uh, let's get right into it. I want to do a moment of silence for Paper Rod and Pie. Legend, Young Dolph, died at a young age, 36. He is from Memphis, Tennessee, raised from Chicago. But a moment of silence real quick. All right, we getting right back into it, man. At the end of the day, like, subscribe, and comment. I know y'all see a lot of bloggers talking about Young Dolph, talking about Paper Route Empire, and talking about the whole situation. Um, Let's get right into it. I heard his, I seen his, one of his artists say that he was about to own 50% of Empire. Young Dolph came a long way. He dropped a mixtape called Walk in the Dolph World, and... High class street music when he was coming up. Those are the mixtapes that put him on. Those are the mixtapes that put him to where he is right now. Hard work and grind. He shined hard and people were still hating on him. Um, this is what I would, could say about Dolph from what I seen. He came a long way and uh, he, he was independent. He signed a distribution with Empire. But one thing I can say is a lot of Empire... Artists, for example, Mo3 from Texas and uh, Kenny Vaughn from Chicago, have passed away. A lot of their artists do die. I don't know what's that about, but it is a lot of death in that company. But um, he was a great, talented individual. But I can't say when you in these streets, you gotta pick it. You gotta pick. How you want to come, you can't be on that dope shit. Like, you can't say F your ops and then you forgive your ops. You got to pick one. Like, listen, three strikes you out. We all heard that terminology. We all seen it. We got eyes and we got motherfucking ears. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you should have been taking heed to the situation. You made a song called 100 Shots. They did shoot at you a hundred times, and you were in a bulletproof car. I don't know why you didn't have security and why you wasn't moving militant. You see how Lil Durk moves? Lil Durk got security with him, gang with him, and he mobbed up. Y'all getting money. Y'all should be mobbed up 24-7. Y'all should be moving like the mob. Y'all should be moving like BMF. At the end of the day, I didn't see that with him. He had his... His his homies with him or family or whatever they saying he is to him, but even if he was right there in that in that room with him, it wasn't it wasn't gonna go. They had a Draco too. Now if they had a switch on that Glick versus the Draco, all right, they could have made it out. But a regular ass Glick, nah, it ain't gonna work like that. And you see this right here, he got his eye. This is symbolism right here, y'all. I don't, I don't think y'all understand the significance about symbolism. This is the all CNI, the pyramid, which you see on the back of the dollar bill. And he has his eye with paper route empire inside of the eye, basically saying money over everything. And it, in the Bible, it tells you to not worship money. Money is the root of all evil. And, you know, when you live by the gun, you die by the gun. When you when you put yourself in situations, it is different, you know, outcomes and consequences to what you do. When you when you taunt your ops and you make diss songs and you sneak diss and you do all that, you working your way up to some shit you can't really get out. It's death, you know what I'm saying? It's FL, it's for life. And... You know, he lived by that. So at the end of the day, you live by that, you die by that. But as being a rapper, having that platform, having that 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 new fan base and having a voice to change a life and to influence someone else to do other than violence, too much black on black crime at the end of the day. I understand you gotta protect yourself, but it's too much black on black crime. If y'all wanna provoke and, you know, 
and, and, and disrespect each other, then you want to get you want to get what you got with Young Dolph. At the end of the day, when you a boss, you don't gotta you don't gotta condone into, into sucker shit. You don't gotta speak on sucker shit. You know what I'm saying? Some things best to leave alone and not to speak on at the end of the day. And if he would have carried the situation between him and the situation between young young Yo Gotti and the situation between Black Yonster differently and accordingly, then I feel like he wouldn't have what's going on with him. Because at the end of the day, you got people in your ear when you in the streets. You got people that's back home. They could be signed to him. But they back home. They not with him. They not going to stores. They not putting their life on the line. They not his right hand man. You got to understand people got options. People got choices. People got favorites. People got picks. It's life. That how it goes. So, I mean, yeah, he probably was fucking with niggas back home. But he wasn't fucking with them how he was fucking with the people that you see with him on camera, on TV, everything he do. You don't fuck. You don't see the people back home with him, you know what I'm saying, they home, so they probably had some envy and some jealousy and some hatred towards Young Dolph, they like, damn, bro, yeah, we got the merch, yeah, we got this little ass chain, but we ain't getting no money like everybody else, you get what I'm saying, that builds envy between people in the gang, and not every gang is loyalty, not every gang is, it be some slimy shit going on when you, you know what I'm saying? With with these with these rappers and with these with these individuals at the end of the day. But what I could what I can say is young Dolph was a fly a fly ass nigga, bro. I had that trip and that Gucci that Gucci Gabbana and that and that all that shit he be that I don't know that that I don't know, but that nigga be having that shit on, bro. He be having that shit on, yeah. At the end of the day, man, rest in peace to that man. My heart go out to that man family. My heart go out to his loved ones. My heart go out to his kids. At the end of the day, that's a big loss. That's a big low. That's a big blow, bro. At the end of the day, that's so at the end of the day, I hope paper route paper route and pie could withstand the energy, the hate, and the industry to keep. Push it, keep making music, and keep dropping them bangers. We need Key Glock <laughs> to drop some bangers, man. That's what I need from Key Glock. This year ain't over. And next year, you know, I need you to go up all year for Dolph. I need you to put that work in at the end of the day. I need you to put to put that shit on your back, nigga. And, and you, you already said y'all like making music with other people, Key Glock. So you going to have to prove yourself why people why, why, the, why the people should fuck with you and pick you over these other rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know, you got to turn the knob up, man. You got to go win, nigga. <laughs> no, you lost a great. We all did, but at the same time time is different with you 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 gotta go in bro <clears throat> in 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 fuck this sneak this nigga make them hits make them hits nigga make them hits man then this all is about man y'all gotta cut this sneak this 